Okay, this is Adobe Photoshop. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the basics of Photoshop, where things are, um, and how you can create a document from scratch. So when you first open Photoshop, you should see something that looks like this. Now, if you have just downloaded it for the first time uh, and are opening it, you might see something a little bit different. You might have a video that explains how Photoshop works, but if you've used it before, or at least opened the program before, uh, it should look similar to what you see on your screen here. Uh, now, I am running Photoshop on a Mac, but if you're using a Windows PC, um, it might look a little bit different, especially the menu options at the top, but everything should work basically the same. Um, so here we have Photoshop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button over here on the side that says Create New. And when you're doing that, you're creating a document from scratch. You're going to open something that has nothing in it. Now, if you were wanting to edit a previously existing image, like a photograph or something like that, Instead, we would click on open, but for this very first time, we're just going to click on the words create new. And that will pull up the new document dialog box. Um, and what this is, is this is Photoshop trying to assist you. Uh, it's trying to give you a good starting point. You'll see several different tabs at the top, including photo, print, art, illustration, web, mobile, and then film and video. And then within each of those tabs, they give you various presets um, depending on the dimensions of the document that you're wanting to create. Um, so all the numbers that you see here might look a bit like uh, gobbledygook to you right now, um, but here pretty soon you will know exactly what everything is talking about. Um, I'm going to click on the Art and Illustration tab and then click on the 2000 pixel grid. Um, you'll notice if I click on the other ones, over here my preset details changes depending on which preset that I click. Um, but for the 2000 pixel grid, what that does is it gives me a blank document with a white background. Uh, that has 2,000 pixels in the width and 2,000 pixels in the height. Uh, so I'm going to click on Create, and we can see that blank document. So we're just going to take a brief moment, look around um, Photoshop, see where things are. Uh, and that's all we're going to do in this video. Okay, so that big white square in the middle, that's where our art is. It's surrounded by basically nothing. Uh, the white part is what we call our canvas. That's where we can kind of draw... It's beautiful. We're going to hit Control or Command Z to get rid of that. Um, that's where we could create. It's where we can um, paint. You could use brush tools, any of your tools, everything right there on the canvas. On the left, we see all of these tools. This is our toolbar. Um, you can edit your toolbar, your toolbar, of course, which I'm hovering over that button down there. Um, but there's a lot of different tools in Photoshop that we can see right here. And then uh, any of the tools you see that have a little arrow in the bottom right hand corner, if you click and hold on them, it gives you additional tools um, that kind of fall under the same usage as the tool that you're clicking and holding on. Um, and if you hover over the tools, it'll tell you their name. It'll give you the little hotkey. Um, for instance, this one, the hotkey is W. So if I were to press W, it would automatically pull up this tool. Um, it additionally gives you a definition of that tool, what it does, and uh, if you're using the newer versions of Photoshop, it will also show you a short video clip um, showing demonstrating how to use that tool. But this is your toolbar over here on the side. A lot of different tools here. Um, when I click on the different tools, if we look up here, we can see that the options bar changes depending on which tool that I have selected. Um, so if I click on like the brush tool, I get all of these different options that I can then modify for the brush. Um, some of it looks complicated now, but once again, by the end of the semester, you'll know what all of this stuff does. Um, so right now my brush is completely, totally black and the options bar has the opacity set to 100, but if I knock it down to 43, instead of my brush painting completely black, it paints like a, a gray, um, I don't know, streak, if you want to call it. That's because our opacity was set to 43. But if I set that back up to 100 and now paint, you can see that I am painting completely with black. That's how the options bar works. I'm not going to get rid of both of those steps by holding uh, command or control and then just keep hitting Z to get rid of it. It's recently changed in Photoshop. Up at the top, we have our menu bar. Um, this is the thing that will probably look most different depending on if you're using Mac or a PC. Um, the one we'll be using a lot at first is the file menu over there. That's where you can create new documents, you can open existing documents, you can close things, and you can save or export different documents as well. Um, but there's a lot of other ones. Um, the basic thing about this is think about what you're trying to modify or what you're trying to access 
And then that will tell you which menu to go to. So if you're trying to do something with layers, that's probably going to be under the layer menu up at the top. If you're trying to do something that has to do with selections, you want to click on the select menu up at the top. Um, and then if you're trying to find other menus or panels, as we call them in Photoshop, you will want to look under the window section over there. And all the ones that are checked right now are the panels that we currently have open. If, you're, if yours looks any different than mine, it's because you're on a different workspace. Um, I'm currently on the Essentials workspace, um, but if you're working with photography, you might want to switch to Photography workspace, but I'm going to go back uh, to Essentials. And so all these other things that we see in Photoshop, these are all panels that we can change. We can modify where they are. We can modify which panels are being displayed. Um, we can change all these different uh, aspects of our Photoshop workspace. All we do is click on the name of what's there. This is the color panel, and I can drag it to where I want it to go. We can drag swatches out. I actually don't really use swatches, so I'm going to drag it over here and click on the X, and that panel is now gone. Now, if I wanted to, I could group the color panel over here with my libraries and adjustments. I'm just dragging it over here until I see this blue square around the other um, panel group there. And then when I let go, it docks the color panel right there to that same location. Um, let's talk about two panels real quick. Um, we've got our layer, our layers panel down here in the bottom right hand corner. This is where we have all of our layers. We're going to talk about layers here pretty soon, um, but it's always important to know where that is. Whenever you add pictures or documents or text or anything to a Photoshop document, it stacks them all as different layers. In fact, there's a button down here. This is the create a new layer button. If I click it, you can see that we just started adding a bunch of different layers. Um, what's different about those layers and then this layer on the bottom here, our background layer, I'm going to delete all these other ones. I added quite a few. Um, this one is called layer one. This one's called background. Uh, this one is not a locked layer, which means if there was something actually in it, I could move it around or I could uh, change it. The background layer is currently locked, so I can't really move it. But if I were to click on the lock, it would unlock it and then I could modify those contents. Um, but we're going to... Uh, let's leave it unlocked for now. Um, and this one looks a little bit different in the two thumbnails. Our originally background layer, now called layer zero, has a white square in it. That's where we know where this white space is. Um, but the layer one looks like a bunch of checkerboards uh, or white and gray checkered pattern there. Uh, that's because it's nothing in that layer. It's transparent completely. And we can actually tell if we come down here to the eyeball for layer zero and click on it to poke it out. Now we have absolutely nothing on our document at all. It is completely transparent because we are only viewing layer one. All right. Um, so those are just a couple of the basic aspects of where things are in Photoshop. That is it for this video. Um, the next video will cover how to get stuff into Photoshop, make some slight adjustments to it, and then also how to export or save things out of Photoshop. Thanks, and that's it for now.